Hey YouTube, this is Rishika again. So uh, this would be my 42nd video tutorial in the series of data stage video tutorials. In the past video tutorial, I was dealing with uh, development or debug stages. So uh, I think I, I dealt with the peak stage. So the remaining are a uh, row generator and right range map stages, I guess. So, but before that, uh, let's take a little, uh, I mean, I'm not stopping uh, I'll not stop making videos about the development or debug stages but simultaneously as I said in my previous video I want to make like videos like the task related videos uh, simultaneously so we can have like both tracks running simultaneously I believe I don't know if I can do it but I I'll try to do it and uh, when I say when I say I make task related videos so just just so you know it's not like the real-time scenarios or the real-time questions and uh, for now I'll, I'll make them uh, in the coming future but for now I'll start with the basic things which are like uh, the basic the small things which uh, the freshers when they first get hired they will have like difficulty to understand because they seem to understand the concept but it's not what they do uh, what they actually uh, uh, they do right so yeah I, I want to help a little bit uh, little bit of on um, those things and then uh, which will then move forward for the task part uh, I mean re the real time scenarios and all that too these are the re these are the real time things too but it's not like the complex or uh, whatever you say so it's not like the big deal but still you might want that I'm not sure if every job gonna uh, need this but sometimes some jobs might need it okay so uh, the first thing which I'm gonna do is so uh, the first task in this video would be to extract the parallel format like the parallel format extract okay so it's, that's a first task so obviously uh, the parallel format extract means something with, uh, to be dealing with table definitions right so let's see what that parallel format extract means so let's open uh, some table definitions uh, it doesn't matter which one so okay so this is the table definition which is already saved in the table definitions folder okay so I'm I'm opening the uh, already saved table definition okay so parallel format extract is uh, basically it's it's a format of the table definition it's it's specific format of the table definition so table definitions basically has its own format like right uh, the columns the columns the key SQL type and length and nullability and all these things right so this is a standard format of the table definition so let's say someone asked you to extract the parallel format of the table definition. So let's say someone uh, email you asking, uh, can, I, can I get the parallel format extract of the table, so and so table definition. Okay, so then what, what are you going to do? It's not just saving the table definition and giving it to them, but it's something you need to do is go to the uh, layout tab in the table definition and then see you have three options, right? The parallel, COBOL and standard. So the same table definition, so this is a standard thing like SQL type, length and scale and all those things, right? So this is the same table definition which can be converted to three different formats. One is a parallel layout format and the other one is COBOL layout format. I believe COBOL layout format is for uh, probably uh, reading the uh, sequential, uh, sorry, uh, mainframe files, I guess. But yeah, uh, for now, uh, let's skip that so the parallel format so when i'm when somebody asks to extract the parallel format of the table definition of or a parallel format extract of the metadata this is what you do so choose this and just copy this sorry and just copy this and just paste it in some text bar or something so this is what they want so this is what they want so this is the parallel format uh, metadata of this particular table definition so yep that's it so when they need uh, let's say when they need the cobalt so this is how cobalt has like all this uh, uh, what do I say uh, pick things like because it, it doesn't have uh, uh, those var care fields or integer it has its own uh, thing right it, ha it, it has its own uh, type or <laughs> what do I say it's it has its own thing for uh, like uh, specifying the varchar field or integer field or whatever that is right so yeah so that is the one and um, the starting and the storage so i mean the cobol file has its own format so yeah this is the co cobol format thing so yep 
so standard means you need not bother about that because this is the same standard thing but yeah parallel means this is what they are talking about it's not about saving the table definitions and giving it to them but you are giving them the parallel format of the table definition which they want to have okay so, so this is a pretty simple task right so yeah this is what i want to say because uh, I, I i met i i met somebody at my uh, office recently and they were uh, they were talking about this uh, there was a new guy so who was asked to give this uh, but apparently he did not understand he just gave the table definition to the senior developer so they were talking about it so i thought okay why not make a video uh, about these simple things because that's what freshers uh, need to know right so yep that's all for this video and let me uh, let me i don't know if i can I, i'll try to uh, i'll try to communicate with people so that we can just pick out the small things at first and then we can usually go, go into the uh, like the design things or the real, real time things okay all right uh, thanks friends thank you so much for watching uh, uh in probably next video i'll be dealing with uh, the row generator or the right range map and get it done with the development or debug stages all right thank you so much for watching uh, keep learning data stage and keep spreading the word thanks bye bye